set in the, from the initial stages of rehearsal and plotting right the way through to the last days of recording. But the whole operation has actually taken, I suppose, about 18 months of my time. I think I knew I was going to come into it about two years ago and got really involved about 18 months ago. And the actual recording itself? Over a period of nine days. After the tele-recording of Wingrave was all over, Benjamin Britten talked to John Culshaw in the once again empty maltings. John Culshaw is producer of the opera and BBC TV's head of music, so the whole project really started with him. Ben, what was it that first attracted you to the story of Owen Wingrave? Well, I think that I looked around among all the stories that I could think of immediately for a story which would be most suitable to the medium television. Uh, it's difficult to summarize what the demands are, of course, but it seemed to me that it needed a story which would show individuals reacting, to show their <clears throat> reactions to each other, uh, where the events could be a personal, private kind, rather than big and public, which obviously a big stage needs. Um, I, I had read the story of Owen Wingrave many years ago and I was astounded and impressed by it. But I had never considered making it into an opera at all and it suddenly occurred to me that perhaps this would be the right, right story. Would you say that the plot of Owen Wingrave is another variation or a continuation on a theme which has been pretty persistent in your work, the theme of the individual against the community, or in this case, uh, in opposition to a family tradition? I think it must be something that interests me uh, very deeply. I'm never aware of having a, a, a set idea of what I, how I should write my music or write operas, but it does quite clearly fit into the Grimes, Albert Herring, Lucretia uh, feeling of, of the innocence betrayed, perhaps. But I think what was uh, most attractive to me in this particular one was that this bombshell which arrived in the middle of this family and the circle in which Owen Wingrave moved would give a marvelous opportunity to show each person's individual reactions to the bombshell. It's a pretty remarkable cast, isn't it? Well, I don't think a composer can ever have been as fortunate as I was over this. I mean, I, every single singer in that cast was really, I feel, the ideal one. Each one of them been associated with quite a few of my operas, and I'd worked individually with them all, and, well, it was just, I don't know what, what I did to deserve it, frankly. I hope we've encouraged you to take a look at Owen Wingrave.